In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how 3D data is represented on the 3D Experience platform. Let's dive in. So you very well may be used to using a file explorer type system where this is going to be database. So it's going to be a little bit different. Instead of dealing with SolidWorks assembly and part files, you're going to be dealing with uh, CAD families, physical products and representations on the 3D experience platform. The closest thing to the file itself would be your CAD family. This houses all versions and each of these versions or configurations in SolidWorks would have each one would have its own physical product. And this can be thought of as what you would see on a BOM. Now, each physical product will have an individual part number, whereas the CAD family will house all of the physical products uh, within one CAD family, but each of those physical products will have their own part number. A representation would be a child of a physical product, and it would just be a different view of that part or assembly, uh, whether it be an exploded view, uh, a flat pattern for a sheet metal component, etc. However, this will not have its own part number. It will share a part number with its parent, its physical product parent. So if we look at this table here, uh, what this is doing is it's it's drawing a little bit of a parallel if you have used SolidWorks in the past. So the closest thing to a CAD family would be the part or assembly file itself. The closest thing to a physical product for a SolidWorks assembly, assembly would be uh, a parent or derived configuration for that uh, part or assembly. And the same goes for a uh, SolidWorks part. The only difference you're going to notice here when you're using solid 3D Experience SolidWorks is that the, the symbol for that part and assembly for your physical product will be a little bit different. Now, a representation would only be comparable to a derived configuration. Uh, you would never uh, draw a parallel between a representation and a, just a regular configuration. Now, something to note, you may have noticed uh, in this slide and the last slide, that there's a note on the bottom there that the, if you're using X apps like X design and 3D creator or X shape and 3D sculptor, uh, any part that you make, even if it seems like it's just a single part, will use the symbol shown for the SolidWorks assembly when a uh, physical product is created. When using 3D Experience SolidWorks, you can still use the traditional configuration manager, but there is also the option to use the CAD family manager. So what you will see here in this table is if you create something in the CAD family manager, what will appear in the traditional configuration manager and vice versa. So for example, if you create a physical product in the CAD family manager, a configuration will appear in the traditional configuration manager. And then you can go down the line there. If you create a representation in the CAD family manager, a derived configuration will appear in the traditional configuration manager. Then you switch over. If you were to create a configuration in the traditional configuration manager, you would then see a physical product appear. Now the last two here get a little bit more precise. If you create a derived configuration, in the settings, when you're creating that derived configuration, if you choose to let the configure, derived configuration have its own part number, then it will appear as a physical product. Whereas if you choose to let that derived configuration share a part number with, a existing, with an existing configuration, it will appear as, an, as a representation. So now that we have the basics down, let's jump into 3D Experience SolidWorks and see how you can access all these tools. So now that we're in SolidWorks here, you may see the configuration manager here or you may see the CAD family manager here depending on your settings. So how we go about changing that is actually you'll have to have all parts closed out and you'll go to your settings here and you'll see an option for 3D experience integration. Once you open up 3D experience integration you'll see an option update SolidWorks files for compatibility with the 3D experience platform and what this will do is if you select this and open a part or create a new part here you'll see the configuration manager for your CAD families. Now you may notice that I actually have both the configuration manager and the configuration manager for the CAD families here. There is actually a setting. If you go to your settings in the feature manager, you will see the option for only CAD family view or both CAD family and configurations. Now this will only be available if you already have this turned on. And then once this is turned on, if you're trying to turn it off and it's grayed out, that's because there is a part open. It has to have everything closed out before you can mess with it. Now, having both of these on can be handy if you're used to SolidWorks and you want to transition a little bit more slowly. If you add 
for example, how you add new physical products and uh, representations are the buttons here. If you add a new physical product, if you go over to your configuration manager, you will see it came in as a configuration. Now, all of those situations described earlier in this video will apply here. So if you were to create a configuration, it will show up as a physical product. And uh, you can go back through this video and watch and go through that table, try out each one of those for, your, for yourself with both of these turned on, and then you can see how they relate to one another. So that's all I've got for you for now uh, in terms of how your CAD data is represented with 3D Experience SolidWorks on a 3D Experience platform. Until next time.